Сила медиа. Сила медиа. Путешествие по мультимедийным мирам с Оксаной Силантьевой. It certainly hasn't been fully adopted by anybody. Some pieces of it have been applied by many newsrooms, so, so I think it was a worthy effort. But I was calling on a complete different business model. And what has happened instead has been that people have taken some things from what I suggested and added them to their business models rather than starting over with this new one. Well, like I said, Twitter and Facebook are both four years farther down their evolutionary path and there are um, other new tools like Pinterest that are important in social media in, in the states at least. I don't know how important that is internationally. And, and so just in social media that's an example. In, um, in terms of revenue streams the We've got a lot going on with paywalls in the United States that I would uh, would need to address in a different fashion. Uh, I don't think paywalls are the solution, uh, but but they are farther along in their development and need to be addressed. Maybe was unrealistic, I'm all admit. But that was four years ago. It, it was very early in Twitter's time. Pinterest wasn't even around. We were just getting started live blogging and so on. So that it was, if you were to say, okay, this is where you should start over with a new business model in 2013, I would update that just because there are maybe some things that have been tried that I suggested that maybe weren't as good ideas as I thought, and there are new ideas that I would add to it. So that's what I, I mean. I think it. I think the central concept of needing to be more deeply connected with the community and needing new revenue streams is absolutely valid, but some of the details I would change. I suggested a plan for having a, a, a business where families or, or even individuals before they die, because a lot of Americans now plan their funerals late in their life, they know they're going to die sometime, and you know, my mother probably planned her funeral 10 years before now, and she's still alive. Um, so that either at that time or at the time of someone's death, rather than, sell, sell, than publishing either, we used to publish for free as news stories, very dry, formulaic obituaries. Now we charge for obituaries, but they're usually written by a funeral director. But they're not very good. They're sappy and they don't tell a very good story. We charge by the line or whatever. And, and so peop, people just aren't satisfied with the experience of an obituary. But I think if you, if we were to commission a professional journalist to tell your life story, a good storyteller, and to tell it both in words and video, um, that families might be willing to commission, or, or the, the person who's anticipating their own death might want a good story ready and out of ego or whatever, say, okay, I'll pay a few thousand dollars to have a good journalist write a good story about my life. I, I think a small organization could do something like in fact, some small organizations have asked me for more details on my business plan. I, I'm not aware of anybody that's launched it yet. But those are some examples. What I think a small newspaper needs to do is find one or two new revenue streams. If they find something really good, that might become even a bigger revenue stream by selling their solution to other newspapers, news organizations. I think every newspaper needs more revenue sources than traditional advertising and subscriptions.